the internet. As News Channel 10's Andrea Brody tells us, some are now taking America Online into court. On this unlimited access, you did not get access to it. You'd be busy signal. The promises of net serving have come up dry. For now, the World Wide Web extends no further than this office. Larry Groff would love to use the service he's paying for to go online. Just one problem. Goodbye. You had an idea in your mind to write a letter or to uh, research something. You want to do it at that time. It, that's what I thought unlimited access meant. America Online has been taking heat for weeks. Since lowering its rates, the company has just been too busy to handle all the customers. Now, add some Rhode Islanders to the list of the mad as heck and not going to take it anymore. Groff has an attorney, and together, they hope to file a private class action lawsuit. Not everyone is complaining. In fact, some are downright thrilled. After all, it is the American way. IDS Mike speaking. Can I help you? It's been great for business. This small company in East Greenwich offers roughly the same services as America Online. Since December, business has been incredible. Five to six customers a day are switching over from AOL. We've had a lot of signups this month. In fact, this month's been a record for signups. And uh, a lot of that's due to the America Online problems. Unlimited means you could dial it and get in, and if you wanted to be on there 24 hours a day, you should be able to. That's what they advertised. For now, Larry Groff's not thinking of making any changes. He just wants the company he logged on with to live up to its side of the bargain. Andrea Brody, News Channel 10. So far, hundreds of Southern New Englanders have responded to Groff's lawsuit. They could get a minimum of $200 each. Barrington can now boast that it's online. The town unveiled its website today. There's not much to it right now, but eventually the site will include historical facts, information on senior services, voting, town sports, and local organizations. The website was founded by Charles Reed, Jr. You can find it at www.barrington.ri.us. Let's go online with Gary Lay now. Yeah, the groundhog was right, Gary, according to what I saw this morning. What do you think? Well